Hi, I'm Thorsten from Tier Systems, and in this video I want to show you a feature which we introduced in Photomate R2 1.3 which allows you to edit multiple images at the same time. So imagine you've got a bunch of raw files here, like I have some from my 6D and we want to edit some of these. And for this I switch to the develop module. Um, this is by the way the Nexus 10 I'm using here. And now you obviously see all the images here on the left and my primary image here in the center of my display. So when we want to edit multiple images we can simply switch to multi-select and we can do this by just long tapping on another image which we also want to edit. Like let's say also this um, seaside image here and maybe this one. So now you can see these blue borders which means that these images are currently selected and now let's say we want to change uh, some of these settings, maybe add a little bit of contrast like this and as you can see both of these images are updating as well so to we can make a more dramatical change like make some uh, more exposure and you can see that it's going to edit um, these images maybe Let's just make a little bit exposure and add some recovery here. Um, and as you can see it's updating the images. Um, you can always switch the selection and every change you will do now will, ch will affect this image as well. So when I change the clarity it will also change the clarity of this image but it will not affect the other values. You can also sync all the settings between these images very easily. You just scroll to the bottom here and then you have a button called Sync Files. So this will sync every setting from your primary image which you see here in the center to the other images. When I press that it will also sync this image with my contrast and exposure settings. So you can also disable this auto sync which means when you change some values now let's say we make it black and white just to see the difference you now see that it's not updating the other images this makes sense if you want to make a lot of adjustments and maybe it takes a little bit too long otherwise so maybe let's say we want to add some sharpness as well and reduce the color noise um, and now we can say sync files and in this moment it will sync all the files to black and white as we said in this one um, maybe you want to change your primary image. You can do that by just long tapping on another image. Like let's say we want to make this one as a primary image. So I just long tap on it and now I can change the values from this. And for example we can make it now um, to a color image again and add some uh, vibrance here. And now if I press, when I press sync files it will sync the settings from this image to the other one. So I have to select this one as well. So now all these I have having the settings from this one. Um, please note that um, the auto sync will just sync the common um, edits. It will not sync for example layers. Layers and so on are just getting synced if you set, uh, select the sync files here. Um, but you can of course, as I showed you previously, sync all the default values like for example if you want to colorize your images you can do that very easily. Maybe make a blue one here. It's pretty straightforward and you can see it's, keep, uh, it's uh, refreshing quite quickly here. And yeah, um, yeah that's that for this video. Um, I hope that you have some use for this feature and please note um, at this time while I'm doing the video I'm using um, Photomate R2 1.3 as mentioned earlier and it's still in, in beta so maybe you encounter a few bugs but you can already play around with it. Okay, see you in the next video. Bye!